Hey friend, welcome back to Crafting Christmas Day, I think 17, 18, I don't know, but today we're going to be making this really adorable card, and it was a gift from one of my kids' parents, and all I'm doing is I'm going into Design Space, and I'm picking all of the shapes and pieces that I'm going to need. So this is going to be my splatter that I need. It's basically a melting snowman, and then she put a gift card inside, but oh my goodness, when I opened the melting, like the melted, the card itself, when she handed it to me, it was so cute. And I was like, I have to show you guys how to make it. And I wanted to make a Cricut version so that we can duplicate and make a whole bunch of these and just have them on hand. Cause I thought they were that cute. So here I'm just kind of flying through. I just sped this up. Um, I need two arms, a carrot nose, uh, two eyes, a scarf and a hat and of course the splatter which is the snowman melting and yeah so it didn't take that long to design this um it was just like i said pulling up the pieces that we needed and then we just jump into um creating the actual card so i appreciate you guys watching i'd love for you to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and let's just jump in and start making our card right now here is the card isn't it so cute so like obviously she had used paint and she just cut out the little pieces here added some glitter and then she just put um words on the inside she put felice not without for merry christmas and it was so cute and I knew once I saw it, I had to share it with you guys and make a Cricut version of it and just give you guys all the information on it of how to um, make this adorable card. And what she had inside was just a gift card taped down in and it looked so cute. And I was like, this is such a very quick and easy way. This is a project you can make a bunch of. Um, make like batch them all up and you could have these for your um, guests that like your unexpected guests like I don't know if you guys do this but I usually buy a couple extra gift cards have them ready to go on my like either under my tree or in a basket by like you know kind of like out of the way but where where I can get to them quickly if somebody shows up and you know great aunt Sally brings you know, so-and-so's best friend, then I at least have something to give them. Um, as a hostess, I think that's important to always have something. You don't have to, but around the holidays, I like to have something for anybody who comes. And I like to do like gift exchanges and things like that. So it's always good to have like an extra gift card lying around. So if somebody forgets to bring, um, bring a gift, you can pull a gift card out and that can just be added into the festivities. So what we're going to do is just jump in now and we're going to start making our projects. So we're going to be using our Cricut Joy. So if you go up in the right hand corner beside make, it'll ask you like, it'll show the, the machine and it'll ask you like basically which machine you're going to use. So I got to click the joy and now I'm going to click my stuff and click on our project now i did add um a background so in case uh, that's not on the video of me making it i added a just like a, a background with it which gives me like a quarter of an inch border all the way around the um craft paper color so um you guys will see that too all right i also need i also need my craft paper extra piece okay so I have this extra piece of craft paper because one is going to be for our actual card that we're making and the other one is going to be for the limbs so like the arms of the snowman so let's get started cutting click make it guys I apologize I've been sick off and on for like three weeks now and I feel like it's like all I'm just like feeling not so great but we're gonna get this done because I just thought this was so cute okay left my machine and I'm not sure what order they're gonna put it in so I'll just lay it like this all right so the first thing they're having me cut is the white 
And all I did was pre-cut these strips. They don't need to be this big, obviously, but I was just cutting down all of my strips to four and a half inches. And it's this is the Cricut 12 by 12 glitter cardstock. And then I'm just gonna use my brayer to put it down. Okay, so we're gonna go to on the mat, four and a half by 12 and continue. And now it's just connecting to my joy. So guys, I'd love to hear how you are enjoying um, our crafting Christmas. I'm just looking for my glitter card stock. I don't think I have it on here. Let me double check. Sorry guys. Real life crafting. Okay, so let's browse all materials. We're gonna type in glitter card stock. Okay, and we're going to say done, and we're going to put remember, because I'm going to do the green after this, um, and now it's ready to go. So all you have to do, if you have a Cricut Joy or you're new to Cricut Joy, there's no buttons on it. You just slide in your uh, mat, and it does everything you need it to do. I might have to pull it away from the wall a little bit. So I'm pretty confident that this cuts my glitter cardstock pretty well. I'm not going to make it um, more pressure. I'm just going to have it cut just like this. Okay, and now that it's out, I'm just going to double check it. Oh yeah, it cut perfectly. Yep. So now we can just unload it from the machine and peel it off. Oh, so cute. I do love glitter cardstock from Cricut. I think it's one of the better cardstocks, but this is not a true white cardstock uh, glitter. So if you're wondering, this has more, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It has the pinks and the blues and it's like the iridescent one. It's not to me true white because it has those little flecks of other colors, but it's gorgeous. So the next color I'm going to do is green and just going to add it to my mat. Turn my laptop back around so I have a little bit more space. Okay. So let me find my green mat. It's mat number seven. And we're gonna slide it in. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the um, the colors and I'm just going to cut them from the cardstock. Okay, so now that I have all the pieces cut out and this is going to be our card base, which this is four and a quarter by 11. Yes, four and a quarter by 11. So four and a quarter by 11. It's basically a half a sheet of your standard cardstock sliced in half. And all we're going to do is we're going to fold it. Now we could score this with our scoring tool. Um, not with your Cricut Joy because you can't score with the Cricut Joy, which I don't understand why not, but you can't. So all I'm going to do is fold it in half and then use my scrapey tool to give us a nice clean press. All right. And all I'm going to do now is just build my snowman onto my card base. So there's all my little pieces. And the first step I have to do is put down my layer. I think I want, I think I'll do this side. Now this glue is the Mono Tombow glue. I've used it before. Um, it doesn't take much. And I think I've told you guys many times, it's a permanent slash semi-permanent glue. You don't need a ton of it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna try not to touch it 
and then all we're going to do is this gives you a tiny bit of wiggle room because it does dry pretty quickly. So if you just need a little bit of wiggle room, you have it. All right, so there's our first layer and then this is going to be our second layer. And I just thought this was such a cute idea to do quick and easy card, a quick and easy card to have available. So I forget how I did it in the design, but I'm just going to do it this way because I think that looks best. And I'm just going to smoosh it over. Actually, I'm going to pull my brayer down and hold on to it with one side and then use my brayer to press it down. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I think I'm going to put the top hat because when I was designing it, that's the first piece that I... Um, I believe I put on there and I'm just going to put that over here and press it down and then these little arms are so cute okay I think what I did next were the eyes because these eyes are very tiny and I believe they go like this so I'm just going to use my like reverse tweezers to hold it for me and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it and then lay it in place. And I think I'm just going to like tilt them over this way and then release my tweezers and it stuck to my hand <laughs> and it's stuck to my hand. There we go. And then I'm going to bring it down so it stays. I'm going to do my next eye. I don't know, guys. I just thought this was super cute. And I was like, I have to, uh, I have to make this for you guys so that you guys could see it. And you guys could be like, oh, wow, just like I was. It was very thoughtful of this mom to, uh, to make this for us. So she made one for my daughter, too. When I say us, I, I work with my daughter. And she made one for each of us and I just thought it was like I said so cute so I'm going to use the textured side of this one and you know I was not going to touch the glue but look what I did I went ahead and touched it anyways because I just use my fingers more than anything when I'm crafting all right and now I believe I put the little scarf down here I'm pretty sure that's what I did but I am going to use the tweezers for the scarf. So guys, you'll have to let me know if you have, like if you keep like an extra gift basket or something on the side for the holidays. If somebody comes, I'd love to know what you do. I think it's kind of neat to hear pe different people's like how they prep for the unexpected. <laughs> And I like having, I just like having that no matter who comes, it feels welcomed and wants, you know, and get something. I know it shouldn't, it doesn't have to be that way. And I know none of the guests that I've ever had have expected anything, but it's just like, I love having something there for them. So I'm just going to finish up this glue. Look guys, it's almost done. Like this barely took any time at all. Okay, I'm going to press that down. Oh my goodness, it looks so stinking cute. Okay, I did put quite a bit of glue on there, but don't worry because it dries clear. Like, it'll be fine. It might be a little sticky though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pick tool because I can easily clean the pick tool. And I'm just going to like pull it out and then run my finger over it because it'll wipe off my hands really easily, but I don't want it to make the actual card front very sticky. Okay, so then the next thing we would do is just, oh, I had a, my gift card here somewhere. So you could write inside, you could do any of the things that you like to do that way, and then all she did, which I thought was just so simple and cute and wise, was just put some tape down with a gift card. So she just had the gift card taped inside and then it said I'm, I'm just using Christmas um, washi tape 
And then she just had Felice Navidad and Lola Chica put Merry Christmas, Happy, what, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is. And then Love from whoever it's from. And ah, look how cute that is. This would fit in a standard envelope. It's a four and a quarter by five and a half card. It's That's your standard card size. And look how cute. So here's her version. Love it. I think it's adorable with the wiggly eyes. And then here's the Cricut version. So you guys will have to tell me which one you like best. I think this, I absolutely love this. I'm like thrilled to get this. I love whenever people give me handmade things because it's just like they put time and effort into making me something and I'm super excited. I'm going to be keeping this one in my, my keepsake box because I, I love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't even think I said when this was. This is Crafting Christmas Day 17 or 18, guys. I'm so, I don't even know what day it is. I just know I've been crafting a lot with you guys and I'm having a lot of fun. So whatever day it is, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in tomorrow's video. Bye.